In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint the scenery from Warcry fast and effectively in a way that looks really, really great. Now, if this is your first time visiting the channel, then I'd be really grateful if you considered subscribing. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy the video. A really good tip just before we get into the painting is in terms of preparing the plastic and getting rid of some of the mold lines. So what I'm using here is a tool. Now it's actually a tool designed for uh, nails. So if you go and get a manicure or a pedicure. And I picked this up off uh, Amazon. It's quite cheap. I'll pop a link in the description. Uh, but it's really good for just running around and taking off the mold lines on the outside. Um, pretty low speed, smooth sanding pad. Uh, but I would recommend you do this outside and of course always wear a dust mask. Once you've done the sanding, you can just put one of the buffer ends on, which will just smooth over um, any rough edges. But when you're doing stonework like this, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit rough. One thing I would say, don't use this on your miniatures, your 28mm miniatures like Space Marines, etc. It is a little bit too harsh and it will damage the plastic on those. So it's a lovely sunny day outside and what I'm doing is I've primed it black and I'm spraying from about 45 degrees with Death Guard Green just to dust it and give it that green ethereal uh, feel. All right, so we're gonna start with a dry brush and we're gonna use Celestra Gray. Um, so here's my pot of Celestra Gray. Here's my dry brush. I'm just gonna get some paint on the brush, not too much. Now, you might notice uh, something a little different about this brush. It's not a, a normal dry brush. Uh, this is actually a makeup brush. Um, let's just pop it on a bit of kitchen roll and give it a a pull till there's very little paint left on the brush um, and I'll leave a link in the description for this, it's really cheap off Amazon um, but these are really good for dry brushes as you'll see uh, as I go through it now. So take the scene that they're going to work on. Now with this we're just going to pull down with the dry brush, we're not going to make any circles, we're going to pull down so it keeps all the shading underneath. Uh, so just lightly pull it down like that and just build the paint up. Just work your way, pull it down, really simple, really straightforward. When you get to these bits which are staying green, I'm just giving it a quick flick of the brush through uh, to get it on there. Catch the edge uh, of these bricks and we've got this uh, end piece to do as well. So again we're just pulling down and what you'll see is you've got a really nice lighter grey colour with the, the green underneath which kind of gives it that uh, eerie look and then we've got the flagstones on top so for that we're just going to back and forth across the flagstones so this will just get some really nice uh, light on there as well Okay, so just let that dry off for a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll give it another highlight before we think about moving on. We're going to highlight all that stonework with a white scar and again I'm still using that makeup brush because it is really good. Just take as much of this paint off as you can until there's barely anything left on there. Um, and again if we look at the building we're still going to be pulling down. But what you'll find is because you've taken so much of that white off hardly ever any of it will then highlight so it makes it really nice and subtle you may have to press a little hard in some places where you've got uh, these motifs you can flick back and forth across that um, and again then you've got the, the stones on the top so I need to put some more uh, white scar on my brush So I'll do that and we'll come back and I'll finish those flagstones off. Okay, now the brush is reloaded. We're just going to come back and we're going to hit the, the flags at the top. And we just want to kind of keep this to the uh, edges as much as we can. You see that's given a nice 
highlight and giving it a nice extra dimension so we've got the green tone the celestial gray tone as well as the, the kind of the white tone so there we are that's all the brickwork then next up we'll have a look at this wooden floor so we're going to base uh, the wood there and we're going to use dryad bark for that so i'm just using a an oldish brush it's a fairly cheap brush not one of my best uh, and just put that on there I am going to break cardinal sin this is straight out of the pot just make sure you spread it out uh, into those areas apologies for hitting the foam with my brush then uh, and one thing to do is just be really careful when you get to uh, these areas here because you don't want to get this onto the stonework that you've just finished um, so just take your time in these areas and just pull it along there's no rush at this point in fact there should never be a rush when you miniature paint and you should enjoy it um, let's just pop that in there and make sure you get all the little bits of wood uh, so I'm just going to finish up the rest of this and we'll come back and we'll be pretty much done with the main elements just a few little bits and pieces to do Okay, so once that dried bark is dry, we're going to go in with a dry brush again. And this is kind of like a chisel head dry brush. And we're going to use a shafty bone. And we're going to go across the grain. So all the grain of this wood goes that way. And this wood goes that way. So we're going to go across. So for example, we're just going to build that on there like that. Nice straightforward. So for here, we're going to go this way. And just pick up all the wood grain that we can being careful once again uh, when we get to the the wooden air sorry the rock edge uh, just there so just work your shabty bone across these planks of wood going across the grain uh, and i'll finish that and come back and we'll just be have the metallics to do and this bit of scenery is ready in absolutely no time at all Okay, so there's also some metal bits from these gratings, and I'm going to paint them in like a rusty effect. So we're going to start off with some lead belcher uh, and just paint this all over um, the metallic bits. Being really careful, as always, when you come to this bit here uh, and you're butting up to the stone parts. Um, don't worry about being overly zealous with the lead belcher and getting absolutely everything, because we are actually going to cover the lead belcher uh, in due course and then build the rust effect uh, from that so wow. just take your time adding uh, the lead belcher on uh, and once you finish this bit i'm going to paint that bit in there uh, so i'll go and do that uh, come back and i'll show you how to make a lovely uh, rusty effect right once that uh metallic paint is dry we're going to start the uh, first part of the rust uh, and the first part is to cover all of the metal in typhus corrosion now as you can see i'm slopping that on and i don't mind if this actually gets on to bits of the stonework so put it on to start with and get covering all of the metallics um, and then you can go away and see how it looks. You might want to take a few bits away. You want to uh, add some more. See how it looks and just play it by, uh, by eye as to what you think looks good. So this is the first part of the rest. So I'm going to go away and finish uh, this bit and on the back. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how we actually make it look uh, rusty. Okay, so that uh, typhus corrosion has dried really nicely. So the last bit uh, for the metal is we're going to dry brush, rise a rust. Now, we're just going to pull this down. And what you'll start to see is that that metal starts to rust up. Now, depending on the amount of rust that you want, you can go over it and over it and over it. But I think that is quite a nice look there. So I'm just going to add some more rise of rust to my dry brush. We'll finish this part here and we'll put some little rust that's run down uh, and then this bit of scenery will be complete. 
Okay, with the riser rust done, the last thing we want to do is just add some rust that may have uh, run down. So this is uh, scrag brown, and this is mixed one to one with water. And I'm just putting a little bit on my brush. Uh, we're going to look at how that may have dripped down into some of these recesses. And what you'll find is this, just put it on really sparingly. And you'll find that it'll run into these gaps and crevices. Just take your time and add it, but it might look really bright to start with. Uh, but as soon as it starts to dry off a bit, you'll start to see that it darkens up quite nicely. So just focus on getting it in those kind of areas where it would naturally collect. So you can be very random with this. Just enjoy placing it. Uh, and as it dries, it will kind of darken down quite a bit. Uh, and the effect is already uh, starting to take place there. Uh, so I'm just going to finish off on this side here. And then this bit of scenery is done. Uh, and like I said, we've done it absolutely no time at all. Really simple. Lots of dry brushing, new spray primers. Um, and it's actually turned out really, really nice, I think. Okay, that's great. So there we have it, a really fast way of painting all the terrain from Warcry and it looks really, really great. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please leave a like down below and if you've got any questions, then please feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. If you'd like to support the channel, then there are some affiliate links in the description below for the makeup brushes, for the tools and for Goblin Gaming where you can actually get Warcry for a massive 20% off. So if you do use those links to buy anything, I do get a small commission, but it doesn't actually cost you anything. It's a great way of supporting the channel. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.